Hey, how's it going? It's How to Cake It. Welcome back to How to Cake It. This week, I'm making a cake tea. I'm gonna turn a t-shirt into a cake. You gotta help me aim it. <laughs> what is so funny? I actually want this cake to look like two t-shirts folded and stacked one on top of the other. So I baked two separate cakes, one chocolate cake and one banana cake, which is my absolute favorite. I'm going to take them out of their pens so that I can That was my ruler, get it? Can you tell that I've been watching a lot of Dora the Explorer lately with my son? And you know what, I feel like her pause is a little too long. Like, she's like, let's, we have to go outside. So I'm gonna put on my... <laughs> That's right, shoes! Usually carving a cake is the hardest part of my job. The t-shirts are a bit easier because they're two-dimensional, not three-dimensional. And I actually have a folded t-shirt beside me as a model. I cut out the angles, which would be the shoulders of the t-shirt and the neck of the t-shirt. Even the tiniest detail of just carving the sharp edges off help make the t-shirt look more real in the end. Now that I'm happy with the shape of my t-shirt cakes, I'm going to ice them. This is why I have wrist pain. Yeah, I have cake injuries. and get them in the fridge to chill. This is, a, this is a cake injury that's four years old. Look at it. The cake was chocolate. It was a Tuesday afternoon and beyond my better judgment, I reached in the oven too far. <laughs> then I heard a sizzle. It was my skin. And every time I look at it, I think, buy longer oven mitts. They make them. I really want to create the classic I Love New York white t-shirt, the kind everyone should buy when they go to New York. Just don't wear it in that city. Free tip. Just buy a t-shirt that says, hey, I'm a tourist. I'm gonna roll out white fondant to cover both of my t-shirt cakes. The tricky thing about white fondant is it can pick up anything. Fluffs from your t-shirt, dust that's around little particles in your icing sugar. It's very delicate, like your white laundry. I've been trying to tell you I'm the Beyonce of cakes. I also do choreography. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> what is that song? I'm gonna pick up my fondant and drape it over each one of the t-shirt cakes, smooth it out with my fondant smoother and really smooth it into the edges. I cut away the excess. And I have a look and make sure it's nice and smooth. We're having mic problems, so for the rest of this segment, I'm gonna hold the mic. And we're back on how to cake it. When we left off, I was discussing. Oh, dis <laughs> when we left off, I was discussing smoothing fondant, and now we're going to move on to details on a fondant T-shirt. I'm glad you could join us this week. It's another Tuesday on YouTube. I know why I love cake. Leave a comment below and let me know why you love cake. Actually, can we not do this mic? Can we do the like Janet Jackson mic? Hot soul cake. Ding, 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 ding. I want that. It's time to add the letters to my cake. I actually just printed out this exact image in the exact same size as my t-shirt. And then I cut it out of paper and used those little templates to cut out the letters and the heart out of fondant. She's cutting now. She's got a paring knife. She's cutting. She's got a template and a paring knife. What is she cutting? What is that? Is that an A? Is it a, is it a C? No, it's a K, Brian. It's a K. 
flawless. I want to make the ribbed collar look as real as possible, but there's no, you know, rib t-shirt collar cake decorating tool stamp. So I have to find a way to recreate this look and the right texture, which is kind of like a ribbed cotton. So I have a nice fancy little rolling pin for that. It's time to make the front part of the collar. But the tricky part is a collar is not straight. If I roll the rolling pin over the fondant in a straight line and then I try to curve that fondant into a collar, the lines kind of go all wonky and get warped and it doesn't look right. It looks like Yolanda's having trouble with that collar. She's looking quite frustrated right now. See, that doesn't work either. I will not be defeated. So I have to figure out a way to do this. So I just sort of take my time and slow down. To get the right measurement of the collar, I actually just chose a cake pan from my kitchen and I make myself a template to help me lay it on the t-shirt in the perfect shape. Sometimes the simplest things end up being the hardest because they seem simple in your mind. So you think, I'll just lay this band like a circle. But if you're off just a little bit, it completely looks out of line. That's a pun. But the last detail this collar needs is the stitching to make it look really real. And so I use my um, fondant stitching tool. I have one here. That wasn't tedious at all. It's time to add these letters to the t-shirt cake. Whenever I make my own template, I like to be careful when cutting the letters out of the paper because essentially when you cut the letters out, what you're left with is a stencil. And I use that stencil to help me lay the letters on the t-shirt and make sure they're not crooked and they're spaced just like the t-shirt is. I want to add one final touch to this t-shirt, which is tags. And in this case, it's a how to cake it t-shirt, H-T-C-I, right on that tag. Why do I like turn into like a Southern black woman? Let me tell you, girl, I put an H-T-C-I on that tag. Next tag up is the price tag, and the price tag for this cake t-shirt is 5,000 subscribers. That's right, that's the price, and this is the universal sign for subscribe. 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 Just repeat that 5,000 times. Somebody will do it each time, right? The tags that I've made for the t-shirt are made out of gum paste. I made them a few days before. I just cut little rectangles and for the price tags, I cut a little hole out of them because I knew I would be attaching them with a fondant string. Oh my God, she's done it! That cake looks like a t-shirt! Brian, it looks like two t-shirts stacked one on top of the other. Yes, it does! I wanna wear one of those t-shirts. Where can I buy that? at howtocakeit.com. You can't wear that t-shirt. You have to eat it. But Brian, oh no, where's Brian? <laughs> I host, I host with two guys named Brian. It's a common name. Brian, is she gonna cut into that cake? I don't know, that's what it looks like. I mean, all that hard work just to destroy it. It doesn't seem right. Brian, I don't, I don't know. Let's ask her, Yolanda. I'm being forced. <laughs> She's picking up that piece of cake and eating it like a hot dog. I don't need a plate, I'm a New Yorker. Yeah, she is eating it quite like street meat, isn't she? She's pretending to walk down the streets of New York with a cake hot dog. Is that what 
what they call swagger? I'm in my kitchen whipping a buttercream. Add vanilla, you know it tastes just like a dream. Get my cake out of the oven, no. <laughs> if you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Pay attention. This is the universal sign language for get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Peace out. It was all a dream. I used to whip up some buttercream. <laughs> oh God. I have to write that one.